Hello, all IA students. So I'm Shivangi Agarwal from Actuators Educational Institute. And in this video, we'll be talking about the new exam platform, which IFOA will be launching and uh, from April 2024 exams. So this new platform uh, will be for all the exams except CM, uh, that is CM1, CM2. CS, CS1, CS2, and CP2 and CP3. So except these six exams, all the other exams will be conducted on this new exam platform, which IFOA uh, will be releasing. Um, so we, our team, actually, we had registered for the demo test uh, through that particular platform. And there were a few things that we uh, need to share and discuss with you all. So before moving to that, I will just quickly share my screen and I will show how you all can also assess yourselves as to whether your um, system is suitable for taking the IFOA exams, okay, uh, which will be conducted over the new um, platform. So I hope my screen is visible. Okay, so here uh, you just have to go and search for IFOA new exam system. And then here there is one link, new exam system technical requirements. Just click on the second link. So this will give you a lot of things to go through. I'll quickly discuss this now. Um, and as I mentioned, so see, it's for all CMCS and CP2 and CP3, except these six exams, all the exams will be conducted on this particular new platform. For CB1 and CB2, as you all know, now we have objective-based exa uh, examination, objective-based uh, assessment. So basically, uh, we'll not get any kind of subjective questions. Now, all the questions will be related to fill in the blanks or uh, we'll have uh, match the following, we'll have um, MCQs and uh, many more such type of questions. Um, we at actuators have also prepared a lot of uh, questions on CB1 and CB2 related to OBA. So uh, you all can get in touch with us if you all want those uh, questions. Now, let's first start with what technical requirements you all should have um, in your system. So if you're appearing from laptop, obviously, these are the things your lap, uh, laptop should be compliant with. Then only you all can be able to sit for the new exam that will be happening. Also, these are the recent updates. If there are any further developments, any further new updates coming in, We'll be surely sharing that with you. So keep in touch with us. Uh, we are present on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. We have our WhatsApp channel. So all the disc all these links will be put in the description box. So make sure you follow us so that you know whatever developments are coming in, we'll be surely posting on all our platforms. Okay. So here let's start with the operating system. If you are using Windows, make sure you have version 10 and 11. Most of us are using uh, Windows 10, but if you are using some older version, make sure you get it updated for sure. For Mac OS, the version is 10.6 or above. So you all can check which version you all are using. And if you are using some uh, previous versions, make sure you update it. And don't update it just before the exam. Obviously, get it updated now itself. Now, what are the different uh, software requirements? So for Windows, make sure, like I'm using Google Chrome, that's the best. You can use Google, Google Chrome or Firefox. Also, remember Microsoft Edge, all these different things do not work. Uh, make sure you have Chrome in your Windows or OS. Um, now, what are the different hardware requirements? Make sure, and these all requirements, if you do not know where to check from, you can go to the settings of your laptop and you can check these uh, requirements, whether you your PC is compatible with these or not. So RAM should be of 1 GB or above. Um, minimum, we need a 64 MB of graphics memory. Sound card microphone that is internal or uses an ex uh, standard 3.5 mm jack um, obviously mobile microphones are not allowed webcam should be there and it should support like 320 250 240 uh, pixel and we have 
uh, processor that is 86 um, processor should be 86 compatible and um, these are the different requirements given all these requirements you will be able to check in your settings so make sure you please check this now because uh, if you're using a very old pc you might need to change or you might need to go to a local store and get it changed whatever um but make sure you do it now because before exam you will not be having so much of time to you know change these things it's extremely important next what are the technical readiness checks so you we can quickly check the readiness we'll click on this particular link the moment you click on this link they will do a few checks over here whether your operating system is fine or not so mine is windows 10 it's completely fine uh, screen resolution is again completely fine for me. I'm using the correct Chrome version, uh, JavaScript, all of these. Microphone, you'll uh, uh, if you have disabled it, so you'll have to enable it from here. You you can click on this icon if you can see over here. And um, I hope this is not uh, okay. This is um, I think not visible. I'll share my screen again. OK, so um, since I am recording the video, so my um, webcam might, uh, as you all can see, is disabled. But microphone, as you click on this allow, they will also check the microphone. Webcam is disabled for me. But for you, it should be enabled. OK, let me see if it gets enabled. OK, it gets enabled. And I can see myself over here. Very good. Now we have the audio check. So you can click on this record button and you can uh, just record whatever uh, sound. Uh, click on the stop. You can listen to whatever recording you have recorded. I will not be clicking on this right now because then uh, since I am recording this video, it will get disturbed. So these are the few requirements. You can quickly check and be 100% sure that all of these are working with uh, for you or not. Right. So these were the basic uh, checks that we have with us. Next, it's extremely important now till date, whenever we were appearing for the exam, we did not need the Internet. We did not need the Internet throughout the three and a half, three hours, 20 minutes of examination. But now we'll be needing it. So because uh, the platform works on Internet, obviously, so if you get disconnected in between, any time you get disconnected in between, so um, your test will stop until you regain the access. Uh, once you again get the access to the internet, then if your exam portal has closed, then you'll have to again click on that particular link, the exam link which you have received. Again, you will have to log in using your ARN and password, and it will start from wherever you have left. Okay, the time will not run out. It will start from whenever you have left. But uh, you should make sure that all these things do not happen in your exam. So you have good and continuous internet connection with yourselves. So make sure you if you are not using a Wi-Fi and if you use your mobile internet, do not do that for your exam. Obviously, please uh, get a good Wi-Fi. You can have those geo fiber or fibers are coming in. So you can have those fibers also if you do not have Wi-Fi with you. Now, we also need a good internet speed, definitely. So I'll click on this internet speed to check. Since now I'm using a very good office Wi-Fi. So for me, it will show a very high internet speed. But for you, it may be a little less, obviously. So you just have to click on this internet speed and they will check two things, download and upload. So make sure download is somewhere around more than one Mbps. Upload is somewhere around more than two Mbps. For me, it will be very high now. As I mentioned, I'm using Office Wi-Fi. But for you, make sure it's a good speed that you are using and it's a continuous speed. Um, because um, this is one of the requirements for the one of the most important requirements for the exam right and we do not want any kind of discrepancies happening so this is my upload and download speed that i have currently with me so make sure you have this um 
so it's recommended they have recommended it to be minimum of 2 mbps they recommend that so make sure you have it you check it properly and nowadays uh, all the wi-fi's that we install have provide us more than this internet speed so it's fine now next thing is to connect to the exam system you have to click on these three links and you have to check whether these links are opening for you or not so I'll just quickly show you all I'll just click one by one and see so it will say it has been successful meaning this particular link is successfully opening for me it is successfully opening and this one also is again uh, successfully opening for me so all these links if it's successfully opening for you then this means that you will be able to access the test in your exam so we recommend you to test the access on the equipment and internet connection you intend to use to sit for your exam so make sure if I'm using this particular laptop I am doing all these kind of tests on this laptop itself and then I'm not uh, obviously changing my laptop later on so don't do that make sure you maintain one particular PC with you or uh, also it helps you like this is the tip which I also give to my students is that please use one PC because you get accustomed to the keyboard and it uh, like you get accustomed to the typing and your typing speed will improve but suddenly if you use a new laptop your typing speed might go down so this is something which we do not want Right, so make sure you are not using any kind of proxy servers uh, or VBNs or any kind of uh, private network. So it's a Wi-Fi that you are using. So all of these things uh, needs to be checked before the exam, definitely. But on the day of the exam also, you can maybe log in like 45 to 50 minutes before your exam and you can do a quick check of all of these things. Right, it will not take a lot of time. Now let's see what, uh, now we'll have to also test the connection. So you can test your connection. Again, this is the same thing that we uh, did. This we have already done. This is very important that you all also check. Um, then you can familiarize yourself with the exams. So as I mentioned that there are CM, CS and CP to CP3, except these six. If you are appearing for any other exam, make sure you familiarize with yourself and if you did not register for the exams which IFOA took earlier on their new platform then this is the best way you can see how their platform will look like uh, before starting this I will just give you uh, what we felt and what we faced uh, during that time so when our team also did that particular test now uh, they will give you a link you have to log in using the username AR and whatever and password your then there will some kind of invigilation being done. So they will ask you to uh, show the entire room in which you are sitting. So make sure you are sitting in an enclosed room. You are not sitting in a living room or anywhere. It's an enclosed room. Also, uh, they feel the shadows. So if there is any shadow behind you, um, they will ask you as to what is this shadow, show it to them. And that shadow should not be there because there can be a person standing right so that's also extremely important that we do um shadow checking is done they will uh, if you're sitting on a de desk and there are a few drawers they might also ask you to open the drawers and uh, show what is there so make sure you don't have any kind of books in your materials or anything in your room in which you are giving the exam because they will ask you to show it right what things i can carry a pen a blank sheet which they will ask you to show it uh, we can have a calculator but yes on their platform they also have a calculator but I you know don't obviously we are accustomed by to using our own lab uh, calculator instead of something on the uh, PC so make sure you have your calculator regarding table book they will let you open the table book on the exam platform so there will be an option of table book over there so don't worry about that Except for this, nothing else should be there. Even if you have a glass door, uh, generally we do not have that in our houses, but if you have it and it's a see-through glass, then they will ask you to change the room. So make sure you have a proper room, enclosed room, just a door. And also please close the door because this is a very, um, I know very funny, but this is one of the incidents which happened with our student that they were sitting for an exam and suddenly uh, you know someone walked in um, so this is something which you should not 
do in your exam you should close your door and sit um so the, these were the few things and then once it is all done um they will ask you for, they will see your face right so they will ask you also for an id proof which you can show so if you have a passport or a dhar card also works passport is great so you can show it and they will see your face obviously and then you can start your exam so these are the few things which happened and then after that how the exam platform looks like so the link which you'll get you will click on that link so this is one of the links and here we have the new exam platform um so they are talking about a few things like error messages for example if my um screen is left uh, like i have opened my examination screen and i'm not using it since for an 30 minutes they will give you an error message or you might receive an unauthorized message in that case you have to again close down the entire browser and again click on the link and reopen it right so um breaks yeah so if you're taking a very long break definitely an error message will pop up and you will have to again log in so it will basically log out your exam so you'll have to log in again username and password and restart your exam so again from the place you left but obviously that is something which we'll not be doing this is only for the um exams that are there now equipment for sitting from uh, now th this is the as i've already talked about the checks this is the check that we have already done over here um now let's see how the cp1 uh so your cp1 your cp uh cp1 and then sp and sa so these are the only uh, papers, essay style papers, which are left because CMCS is not on the this particular platform, not happening on this particular platform. And CP2, CP3 also is not happening on the new platform, right? So it's fine. Click on this link, access uh, an exam. So this uh, link opens up and this shows how the platform will be looking like. So this is how it will be looking like um uh, they have given a set of so there are nine questions over here they have also given where each question is coming from because this the exam the purpose of this exam in, is only to understand uh how your actual exam will look like this is obviously not a true examination happening now let's quickly get accustomed to i'll just click on this arrow the moment you click on this arrow it will take you to the first question okay so it takes us to the very first question and my first question has how many parts as we can see it runs from um six parts it runs to six parts but in this particular so here i can see my questions on the left uh, on the right i can just see my um i can write down my answers another thing you cannot since now this is just an um just a, a trial i can minimize it but during that during your exam you cannot minimize or you can you cannot move away from this particular tab you cannot use alt tab as well so like we use alt tab and move to the other window you cannot move to the other window right it's not allowed in the exam and obviously don't even try doing that so here i can start uh, writing my answer okay and obviously, if you need to insert any kind of bullets, I can do that. Number bullets is also fine. Uh, you need to make it bold, italics. If you need to change anything, if you need to use square root, if you uh, need to insert a table for any such thing. So all these things can you do. You can do basic editing is there. Obviously, we do not use a lot of editing in any of the papers, right? So it's basic editing, which is there. And basic editing we can use. Um, for example, if this is a question which uh, I find it to be difficult and want to answer later on and come back to this, you can also flag it so that at the end, like towards the end, I can see what are my flagged question, go to that and maybe answer it as answer them. In the overview part, you will see that all the questions are there. So if you just straight away want to maybe go to question number six, you can click on question number six and uh, that will open up. You can again answer all the parts over there uh so there is there is only one part now here i also have an option of excel so anything 
if it needs like over here if you can see this is a, a claim triangle which is given to me so i might need the use of excel you cannot open excel in a, another window obviously so here itself they have given us this particular option of excel i can write whatever uh, i want over here it's just like how one excel will look like you have all the tabs over here basic tabs that you need the different uh, formatting and different groups which are there in your normal excel is also present over here so this is how you cannot open the excel separately as i mentioned there will be no other option of moving away from this particular screen so here we have the excel screen so you can just do whatever you want over here itself right and if you want you can definitely go down go right you can insert more sheets which i don't think is required but yeah okay we can do that um in the tools again if you need to highlight few things and maybe you know come back and again check later on so we can also use the highlighter in our for questions generally i also do that i highlight few keywords so that i can use it in my exam you can do that you can also use a notepad it's like a rough paper so you can keep noting down things if you want and later on if you want to check you can come back over here and check so uh, if you this is to change the theme of your uh, screen again um, it's fine i think standard screen is fine to us so if you want you can people use gray or people use black somewhat like this so you can also do that uh, reversed again it's up to you whatever i feel standard is fine so this is the time obviously it was 3 hours 20 minutes it shows that that the time is running and yeah you can also go back and see which question you have flagged over here so you can just open that flagged question um you can unpin and pin this particular part if you can if you want to move or not so this is how your overview so it's very simple yet very fine there were a few lags in the portal which some of our team members faced but i feel that ifoa has definitely worked upon that so you might not face it in your exam provided you have a good very good internet speed so this is how your entire examination will look like essay style examination will look like okay uh, towards the end they have an option of submission so once you reach towards the end they will ask you whether you want to submit uh, whatever changes you want to make make it now once you click on that button obviously they'll not be you'll not be able to um submit your exam right so that happens towards the end of your examination so once that's done you will be just uh, leaving your exam right so this is these are the questions and yeah that's how it works um let's also quickly let's also quickly talk about the oba style question so they have given you cb1 and cb2 um i'll quickly open the cb2 one um again as i mentioned objective based assignments will be given to us so you can just click on this there are uh, i think a set of 60 questions they have given so this can be also a good practice for all of you it's a two hours question um two hours paper and uh, they have given different set of questions uh, each question carries one mark not all learning objectives are covered obviously because this is an exam this is a, just a example um, that they have set over here so again um it opens up and you have like this is as i talk a lot about this in class that please practice all the graphs because graphs are something which definitely comes in your exam so if you haven't practiced it you will not be able to answer it anyway so this is how you will just this is a, like a multiple choice question you will select you will move ahead um there will be fill in the blanks there will be you know match the following sort of question so here it's choose any option one any option you need to one option there will be also uh, an option to choose multiple options right so here they have clearly mentioned choose any one option i'll quickly show a few other types also but this is something which you can also do um, at your ease so i'll just quickly move let's move to the 10th question and check what it is okay so here we again have this again we have only one option to select from 
Um, then we have, okay. So here it's uh, to select which option. So again, you can select which option, whichever option from here. So there is a drop down from which you can select one of the options. They will also be match the following. Okay. So when I say match the following, you need, so here, see, you have to select any three options. So instead of one, any three, you have to select only three. You will be able to select not more than that, definitely. I actually wanted to also show you all match the following. I'm not getting that particular question. Uh, no, no problem when you all sit for it. And definitely we will be discussing a lot of these questions we have made in our class. So here you have to input your answer. You can use your calculator. You can input your answer over here. Uh, if you have any question, uh, so here they have given you the answer since this is an um, just a practice set of questions. So you can answer input and whenever they say two decimal, make sure you keep it till two decimal, right? So you can input the answer and match the following will be a few boxes given where you select the boxes. So that is how your OBA questions will look like for CB1 and CB2. You can definitely practice these questions as well. Uh, good questions are there. And these are only 60 questions uh, which do not cover the entire syllabus, but we have also prepared a set of questions uh, that you can go through. So this uh, is all about the new exam system, which IFOA has released. It's on this April 2024 term. And if there are any few updates coming in, we'll be surely sharing it with you all. Um, so if you ha all have any questions, make sure you put it in the chat box or you can contact us. We'll definitely uh, come up with such informative videos for you all. And thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do it. Thank you.